What is going on, everyone? How you doing? It's time for more Earthbound fun. And I hope that you guys are excited. I really enjoyed this playthrough up to now. And now things are actually getting interesting because we have a party. Which is kind of ideally what you want in an RPG like this. You don't want to just have one person. You want to have a group of people working together, right? Concerted effort and complementing each other in combat and survival and the like. So, we just arrived at the town of Threed. Okay? What I'd like to see is what items are available for my characters. And as you can see, we already have items that are pretty good. I guess what we need to see is what what's better. What is an insecticide spray? I don't know what it does. I think I would like to buy... Let's buy the thick frying pan for her. Then we'll go take money out of the ATM to buy the minor league bat. But I don't know what the insecticide spray does. Hmm. But I definitely want the best weapon, so let's buy this. Ten. One up by ten. Very nice. So I need to take out more money so that we can buy that, uh... We can buy that, um... Baseball bat. Rugal says it will deal damage only to insect enemies. What's the point of that? So we need what? Uh, like 400 to buy the baseball bat? Okay. Minor league bat. Mass, here we go. Wow, up by 11. That's really good. Headphones in my head. Just became a channel supporter. Thank you, headphones in my head. I appreciate that very much. All right. And yes, I'll sell the Sandlot bat. Um, so I do believe that uh, our members would have gone up by one with that. Thank you to headphones in my head for that. And... Our first tip of the day just came in from Marlin's Manny. He tipped me five dollars. Said mutton, fresh mutton. Not usually at your live streams, but I watch on demand. I wanted to drop by to support Earthbound and hopefully get more JRPGs in the future. Here's the hoping we get more. Uh, we'll finish Tales of Exilia too soon. I don't think I'm going back to Tales of Exilia too. However, I announced on today's episode of the Level One Podcast that they have now announced a Suikoden collection for next year. It's Suikoden One and Two redone with modernized graphics and widescreen aspect ratio, and I'm playing it. I'm definitely doing Sweet in 1. I might save 2 for a future date, but the two games tie together, and I definitely want to play them. I've loved Sweet in the 1990s on PS1, and I've always wanted to play it, and now we're going to play it next year when this collection comes out. So good news to JRPG fans. Thank you for being here, Marlins Manny, to support uh, Earthbound. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> Cold Remedy, a vial of serum. What in the hell does that do? A toothbrush and a calorie stick. I almost feel like I should buy one of each just to see what they do, right? Here, vial of serum. Give it to Paul. And a calorie stick. <laughs> right? And a refreshing herb. We know that this will cure any status effect, right? Okay. I also want to call Escargo Express because I want to get rid of that backstage pass. I don't want to call my dad. Call mom. Hello, Ness. I heard you got a new girlfriend on your journey. Why don't you tell me about her later? You see, I have a feeling that she's right next to you or something. <laughs> if she's right there, say hello to her for me. I have to go now. I'm right in the middle of cleaning the toilet. Bye. She really had to tell us about that, huh? Here we go. Escargo Express. Right? Rugal says it's a very good thing I'm upgrading my equipment because the difficulty spikes a lot in this particular town of Threed. Okay. So let's call Escargo Express and have them take some of the items we don't want, right? So they're going to come here in a minute. I don't know about... Uh, oh, you know what we could do now? Hold on. We're going to check out that map in a minute. Um, We can see what these items are that I bought. Vial of Serum. The best thing to take when you get poisoned. 
refreshing herb helps when you've been poisoned or you're feeling nauseous and has other uses. Cold, sunstroke, falling asleep, uncontrollable crying and feeling strange. It basically cures everything. Calorie stick. When you recover 60 HP. Oh, that's just a generic healing item. Okay. <clears throat> what about the hand aid? Heals a wounded body. I guess you can get wounded. I'm not really sure exactly what that's going to do. Uh, so we can get rid of the picture postcard. We can get rid of the backstage pass. We can get rid of the Franklin badge. We can get rid of the pencil eraser. We can get rid of all of those items and clear up the inventory when Escargot Express comes. Shout out to Arcade Cup. Which took me five dollars sixty nine cents. Biggest tip so far today. Says happy YouTube anniversary. I'm glad you're playing an SNES game too. Earthbound is a masterpiece, and it earned a top place in gaming history. I agree with you. I absolutely love this game. One of the most unique games of the 1990s by far, and a game that laid the groundwork for many other games to come. I also love playing it with an audience. This is much. I'm already having so much more fun with this than when I played it nine years ago. So thank you guys for, for being here to chill and engage and have a great time while I play the game. I really appreciate that. Rugal says, The toothbrush can be used to solidify enemies, but it fails most of the time. He says, Don't get rid of the Franklin badge ever. Oh, really? Keep the Franklin badge. Oh, alright. I'll get rid of the other stuff, though. Does this Gargoyle Express come inside? Or do we have to go outside? I'm trying to remember if they come in or if they actually go to the street. Man, I can't recall. Ness just took me $4.20. It says, Ness Earthbound Mother 1 was originally supposed to come to the West. It was canceled. Now it can be played on the Switch. SNES Earthbound also. Would you play Mother 3? Would you think... Would, uh, would you think Mother 3 will ever come to the West? I don't know. If you remember when we were... Uh, when we were talking about it last time, people were under the impression it would not ever come out here because it has a theme that's basically anti-Western, like that you said about Japanese culture being influenced by Western culture and that's bad or something. If that's the case, no, I don't think it would come out here, but I guess we'll see. Ah, here we go. Okay, so he's gonna take, oh, you take up the three things. All right, so take the picture postcard. Take the backstage pass, I totally don't need that. And the pencil eraser. Yes. Alright, good. Go store that stuff. Cool. Alright, so we have a new town to explore. Let's take a look at the map. So here we are. There's a bunch of houses to the to the south. If we head east, we have all the buildings, the hospital, the food store. The desert is to the far east. There's a hotel to the north. There's a giant tent in the center of town. I'm not sure what that is to the north. If I remember correctly, I think it's a graveyard. So I guess we'll see here. The refreshing herb can revive you at a 75% rate, and I believe it can also cure Ness's homesick status. Interesting. Cool. Who's this? Zombies and ghosts are on the loose. Welcome to three. Gee, thanks. Oh, God! Oh, God! disturbing the trick or treat kid or the handsome tom we're stuttering cray this is actually quite scary all right uh side freeze a boom nice we got handsome tom ah hit me with pumpkin seeds you freak! Oh no. Pumpkin seeds again! Okay. Why is there a hand- I didn't remember there was an enemy called a handsome Tom in this. It's just a freaking marionette. That thing's crazy. Is that a dog? A zombie dog? It is a zombie dog! It's a zombie- that's literally a zombie dog. A loud piercing howl. Attack it. Beat the shit out of the zombie dog. It won't die. Wait a minute. It's already dead. Oh, God. Teddy Bear did a lot of damage. Here we go. 
It returned to the dust of the earth. Did you read that? I like how each enemy has a unique thing it says when you beat it. The zombie dog returned to the dust of the earth. That's pretty good. I like to pee. Tipped me a dollar fifty and says, "Are you going to have uh? Are you going to have merch again?" Well, we talked about this earlier in the year, and you know, over a year ago, Teespring, now called Spring, closed my shop without ever notifying me, and never talked to me about why. The only thing I can think of is that this was the same time that people were negatively talking about me all over the internet. They got me in trouble with Twitch and got me kicked out of the partner program. Um, they got my old stream labs tip thing shut down. They did a bunch of fucked up stuff, making, basically making shit up about me. Okay. So I don't know what happened. Now I told you guys I would consider it again, but I would want to wait a little bit. Do I feel that this year things have changed? I would say, honestly, yeah. I would say that this year, a lot of positivity is built up around me. Yeah, there's still nut job conspiracy theorist idiots out there, but certainly, you know, me getting rid of that old, my old monikers and things, rebranding and things this year, I think has definitely improved my brand image. Um, I would say maybe by the end of this year, we could look into it. But the thing is, again, I don't really have any merchandise designs or anything I could do. All I could do is the old designs that I have, I probably still have some of them that I could apply to new merchandise on a different site. But I don't necessarily have, like, designs to you. So if anyone has ideas for those or whatever, right? Um. Yeah, we'll see. But anyway, yeah, I'm uh, I'm interested. I, I What I would say is, if you guys have any suggestions of a website you know to make merch on and sell, and you know that it's a good site and maybe other content creators use it, send a suggestion my way and I'll look into it later this year. I'd probably say, probably by the end of the year, you know, holiday season, I'd probably look to do it. <clears throat> okay. Um, Ness tipped me a dollar for these. If you go to the Scaraba Desert, walk around till you see a red bug. It's called the Criminal Caterpillar. Try walking all the way to the bottom, straight back up, and looking to the right of the gate. It will run from you, running into it. It gives 28,000 experience. So it's basically like, um, it's like the rare Cactuar enemy in Final Fantasy or the, 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 uh, Metal Slime in Dragon Quest. Where they give you exorbitant amounts of experience if you encounter them randomly, huh? Uh, Plum Girl, I do have the artwork for my, like, DSP Gaming channel logo. And I also have logos from back in the day, you know, that used to be on the old shirts and stuff. I have a lot of stuff to work with, so. Good morning, American Undertaker. How are you? I'm not saying MAGA. I refuse. An anonymous tipper has me $20 and said, Wiener. Well, thank you for the $20 tip from the anonymous tipper saying, Wiener. I appreciate that, we, uh, Wiener. Wiener and Wiener to you, sir or madam, or whatever, however you identify. Whatever floats your boat. Gotta say that in 2022. Okay. Zombie dog defeated. Barrel Shroud has re upped their membership for 17 months. It's his favorite fast food as a kid, per Burger King. Or pizza from my local pizzeria, although I don't know if that would be considered fast food because it was actually from a restaurant. Okay. Rural Burns says the zombie dog can be a tough and annoying. He's weak to hypnosis if you need to use it. Let's see what's down here. Any items or anything? It's a regular dog. Oh, woo! Here's the zombie dog. I'm not really afraid of the zombie dog. I don't think he's that big of a deal. I have two teddy bears. That was some good damage. Yes, sirree. Paul levels up, level 15. Offense, guts, IQ, maximum HP, PP, and she learned Psy Magnet. Hey, Psy Magnet sucks your PP. Oh, no. <laughs> I almost said it. I was this close to saying it. I was this close to saying it. Okay. Psy Magnet is a spell that drains your magical points, which are called PP in Earthbound. So she would drain the PP points from an enemy into her own pool of PP. <laughs> it doesn't sound right. 
No matter what you say, it sounds wrong. When you say PP, it doesn't matter how you say it, it's still... Alright, PP Poo Poo just did a, do a dollar super chat thanks to PP Poo Poo. However, I'm just going to type out PPPP. Quad P. Oh, yay, yay. She still has one, right? Yeah, we have a second teddy bear. Okay. We'll probably have to go to the department store. Why is this one colored different? You notice that, right? That one's colored completely different. I wonder why. Huh. Anyway. Three. There's graffiti here. Just play it. Just play it. Just play what? Software development house where you can see Mount Fuji HAL Laboratory. Huh. <clears throat> I saw a beat up tour bus going to Foresight. We can't go through the tunnel. The band was really noisy. The ghost didn't approach, approach the bus. It must be great to be so happy go lucky. <clears throat> we know who they're talking about. Let's see here. A skip sandwich. Delicious. That's right, there's a rumor that a monster called Belch is screwing up the town. Belch, that's gross. A twisted name even for a monster. There you go. PP stands for Psychic Points. All right, I'm going to call them Psychic Points from now on. No more PP. Nobody home. <clears throat> Weird music of three. I'm sorry, but I think you ought to leave now. I have no guarantee that you're not a zombie out looking for a lunch. <laughs> there you go. Oh boy. A mouse. Hey, you don't look so happy. You better cheer up or you'll become a zombie. Some people have already become tools of the zombies. You're probably kind talking to, to uh, taking time out to talk to a mouse. This mouse loves you. Oh, well, that's nice. Aye! A zombie! I'm watching a zombie movie. Can you come later? <laughs> Can you come back later? Zombies. Horses say nay, but the hint shop says yeah to giving you a hint. Eagle hint, hint union. Zombies and ghosts are on the loose. I can't get the Tucson or four side. Maybe the hidden road in the graveyard is safe. The hidden road in the graveyard? I overheard the zombies whisper, Master Belch will give us our lives back. Master Belch is the zombie leader. He must be really pukey. Ew. <clears throat> Interesting. It's none of your business that we have a small house. Keep all that whispering quiet out there. Wow. The bakery probably is just that. It probably just has standard bakery items. Pretty typical stuff. Nothing special. <laughs> Rural Bernstein said there's a hidden vendor hiding behind the drugstore. Alright, we'll have to look for that. <clears throat> hospital? We don't need to go to the hospital right now. Is that him right there? Oh shit! Hold on! Nice! Freebie. Magic butterfly made us relax. How do I get back there? Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? I got what you need. A toy air gun. Neither of them can use it. A bottle rocket. Okay, 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 okay. I'm starting to remember. So first of all, the rust promoter, if I remember correctly, is a key item you need. You need to buy the rust promoter for a plot, a plot device, I think. Um, and then the bottle rocket, you can't use it yet, but later on you get a party member who can use bottle rockets, and bottle rockets do crazy damage. But that's why they're a disposable item, you see? Okay. Yes, no super real vibes. The towns are named after numbers in this game, at least to a certain point, so... Um, so yeah, I think we need to buy the Rust Promoter at one point. Okay, but I'm not sure if we do it yet. I can't remember. 
I'm so scared of the zombies, I spent all my time running from them, I can't even get home. There's a rumor there's an underground path at the edge of the graveyard that takes you somewhere. When you get through the path, you'll meet a dirty, stinky, ugly, powerful monster. I want my pants thinking about it. This town seems very dark, right? The people are mostly living at the center of town. I wonder if we should get the town back from the zombies. <laughs> the zombies? The headquarters of the R Zombie Relief Corps is in the circus stand at the center of town. We want to crush the zombies, but I think they're going to crush us. <laughs> Did I go in these yet? No. Yeah, I worked for the zombies, but I betrayed them too. I'm a con man, so I know the score. Belch gives life to the zombies, but Belch works for Gygus, who I heard might be female. Well, I'm not really sure if Gygus is a male or a female. I'm a helpful con man, don't you think? <laughs> Gordon Ramsay's Creamy Chicken Sandwich just did a dollar super chat. That is pretty, pretty interesting that Gordon Ramsay's food is becoming sentient. Thank you for the super chat. Gordon Ramsay's creamy chicken sandwich. I appreciate that. And by the way, do, 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 do. All right. No one here now. All right, there's no one there now. Want to escape the beach? To the beach. If this is your big dream, go to Carillon Beach in Summers. Summers Tourism Bureau. Oh, uh, I guess they don't have a general store. Just the drugstore, right? Which we've already been to. They don't have, like, a mall. But they do have a hotel. <laughs> okay. Street lamp stood out. A little weird. I saw a suspicious woman walking with the zombies around here. Oh, yeah? Let's go to the circus tent. How can we defeat the zombies? Oh, uh, I just don't know. The zombies are slowly advancing towards the tent. Everyone, I repeat, the zombies are on the move. I'm glad you're going to help us, but you're pretty young. Why don't we all get the zombies in the tent and set it on fire? We may all get munched before we have a chance to do anything. Okay. <clears throat> Let's keep looking around, keep investigating the town. If you miss a nice cozy bed, walk to the west. We're right there. Three the Sunset Hotel. Already talked to them. Okay. I'm a wimpy little guy, so I can't open the door. You know, it's scary. <laughs> okay, then. This bulletin board greets you this evening. All is well. Good night. Wow. <clears throat> Whose house is this? A teddy bear. Cool. A bonus teddy bear. Hint shop realizations. This is the hint shop of the town. Okay. I guess we're going to check out these, uh, what appear to be graveyards. Burger King ch ch king Chicken Sandwich sent me $1.50 says I have the best and best looking spicy chicken sandwich. Did you guys know the chicken doesn't exist anymore? Yeah, they got rid of it. Remember I told you guys that Burger King does this every year? They basically once a year completely redo their chicken sandwich. So the chicken's gone. Now they have another different one. I haven't tried it, nor do I have a desire to after how bad the chicken was last year. But maybe I will eventually. By the way, I need to quickly blow my nose because it's bothering me. So please give me a moment here to blow my nose. Yes, the chicken. I told you once. It's once a year. Once a year, they say, "Oh, new chicken sandwich, new chicken sandwich." It's never good either. Whenever they redo their chicken sandwich, it's never good. <laughs> they always mess it up even worse. They used to have a good one. That, what was it? The tender crisp bacon cheddar ranch. Uh, all those tender crisp sandwiches were actually. Oh shit! The trash can came alive and became a monster. 
the putrid moldy man and the smelly ghost. Okay. Work on the teddy bear. We're trying to do something to the teddy bear. Putrid moldy man! That's disgusting. It's good to know that you can strike the ghost. Wow, I guess not. I guess we gotta use magic. Freeze the ghost! Oh! Grit on his face. Yeah, he does. That's funny. He says, the, the figure of the smelly ghost melted into thin air. I love those descriptions. A broken iron? So that we can't do anything with. We have to find someone who can repair items for us. A broken iron. <clears throat> Don't enter, it says. Do not enter the graveyard. Bad idea. Oh, shit. I was just walking to this gravestone, and all of a sudden... Hello! Picture's taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius. Fuzzy Pickles! Very nice. What a great photograph. I will always bring back the fondest of memories. So... I don't know why he showed up there. There doesn't seem to be anything here. I'm not sure. Oh shit, it's another one of those creepy enemies. Maybe he just randomly shows up in certain spots. That was one of the optional spots. Oh, look, bugs. Oh god, bugs in a trash can. The no good fly. You know what I'm gonna do? Sigh region. Sigh thunder. Sigh region. Boom. Sigh thunder A. Oh yeah, smelly ghost. He took good damage, but he didn't die. Teddy bear died. I have another one though. I'm gonna do Sire Agent again. There we go. Walk up, walk up, do you? Yeah. Goodbye, no good fly. Smelly ghost is done. I freeze. Freeze that little fly. Oh, giant damage. Very nice. By the way, guys, if you enjoy my retro playthroughs like Earthbound and you're having a good time with this, uh, please give the stream a like. We got 55 likes right now. I aim for 100 every stream. Remember, I do a silly bubble blowing if we hit 100 likes. If you're watching this on demand on YouTube and you're enjoying the retro playthrough, again, please consider giving it uh, a like and leaving some comments on it for engagement purposes. Ness has leveled up. Vitality up 1, HP up by 10, PP up by 1. Not a not a big increase by any means, but any increase is a good increase, as they say. Oh. Okay, so... Let's go ahead. Nice. Butterfly. What happened? My sound went off. Now it's back. My sound glitched. Now it's back. That was weird. A single fly? Yeah, just a one fly. Andy says if the troll's fully gone, it seems more chill in here lately. I mean, no, they're never going to fully go away. I think what it is is they're in their own circles. They're going to be on their own channels, right? They're going to do their own bullshit. But for the most part, they're not going to really come in here that much. You know, we have a good a good group who like to come and chill with me. There's not, I don't really think they even come here for Earthbound or Garden, you know. Probably the game they're not going to be here for. So, oh. Oh. I think we finally found the, the uh, zombies, right? Okay. He stares into your soul. He looks you over. 
So we know where to go. We just can't get to it yet. The zombies are blocking the ladder. By the way, is it weird we haven't fought any zombies yet? They said the whole town was overrun with zombies. We haven't fought a single zombie yet, right? Huh. <clears throat> no one is talking in the stream chat. I don't know why. It's been several minutes. I don't know if my stream chat froze. You guys fell asleep. I don't know why you would. We're having a great interactive time, but now the chat's not moving. What is going on? Yeah, see guys, come on. Come on. Wake up. So I guess we can't really do anything right now. What where didn't we go? We didn't go Do we go in this building to the right over here? This one? Another butterfly. Huh. My mom says no open door. Zombies are coming. I don't even need that butterfly. Oh, what was that? What the hell? Uh, okay. What's with the music? What the hell? Can I save? Yes. Okay, let's save. I don't know what's about to happen. The music's all fucked up. I don't remember this part. Okay. Be careful while walking around outside, especially near the graveyard. It's good advice. Uh, she went in the room again. Whoa! Whoa, we got jumped by zombies and ghosts. Oh, you're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Ness and his friend? Uh, whoa. What happened? The door is locked. Uh-oh. I'm calling out to you who I've never met. I'm calling our friend who we've never met, Jeff. Jeff, we need your help. I'm Paula. I'm with another friend, Ness. We're trying to contact you. Okay. Winters, a small country to the north. Interesting. Nice music. Sleigh bells. Snowwood boarding house. I am Paula and I am with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. If you hear me, please wake up and head south. Only you, though far away, can save us, Jeff. Please hear my call and begin heading south. Jeff, you are a friend who we never met. You are our one and only hope. Whoa, he gets, out of, he gets out of bed fully clothed. Ah, oh, Jeff, I just dreamt that you and I were talking, taking a walk. What's wrong? Jeff, where are you going in the middle of the night? <clears throat> you know the dorm rules, right? If you get caught, you'll get punished big time. What's wrong, Jeff? All right, well, there must be some reason I don't understand, so I won't stop you. But it's dangerous to leave without taking anything along. I think there's some stuff in the locker room that you should get. I hope you get out of here. <laughs> oh. Tony joined you. Huh. Okay. Why don't I use the stock names and not make funny ones? Because I like the stock names. It lets you understand the, you know, where the game's coming from with these original characters rather than kind of being stupid. <clears throat> Whoa! I'm so sleepy. Tony's birthday party is tomorrow. I hand-decorated each cookie to pass out at the party tomorrow. If you're going outside, stop by and say hi to Maxwell before you leave. He always looks out for the younger students. Maxwell is still working hard in the lab downstairs. 
These days, there are many dangerous animals wandering around outside. So they're saying oh, these are cookies? So if they're just cookies, I shouldn't even bother stealing them. They're only 6 HP each, right? I heard a creature called Tessie lives in the southern lake. I don't believe it. I think someone made a model and placed it in the lake. I heard a more interesting story about the, than the rumor about Tessie. It's about the cave boys at Stonehenge. Many claim to have actually seen them. I wonder if the rumor is true that the center of Stonehenge has an escape or an entrance leading someplace. Someday we should check it out. <clears throat> I'm sleepy. I'll wash my face, brush my teeth, do my business, and go to bed. Well, good for you. Thanks for telling me. Normally, that's not stuff you just, like, profess, right? Oh, Jeff and Tony, you startled me. Are you looking for a late-night snack? I'm having trouble with my project, and only just Father Dr. And Donuts were here. He'd be able to provide a great deal of help. I heard he's an astounding person. He was the first leader of our Ultra Science Club. I heard he's greater than Einstein or Heisenberg. He's better than Heisenberg. He cooks better meth, apparently. Rumor has it he's also very strange. <clears throat> if you're heading to the locker room, take this key along. It's a little bent, though. There you go. Dan says Jeff will use all the items that the shady guys sell. He has no, no uh, PP, but he has the best items. There you go. If you leave, call me. I'll record your adventure. It's like saving the game. So this is the guy that you save with, with Jeff, huh? Rubel says, currently, Jeff has a worthless ruler and protractor. You could sell them later. Okay. Big bottle rocket. This is insane damage. Items for Jeff fires a fast, powerful bottle rocket going after one use. It does crazy damage. It does. 007 has took me $1.50 and says, weird... Only the Switch version of GoldenEye will have any kind of online play. The Xbox version will not. Many N64 games being added to the Switch, including Mario Party 1, 2, and 3. And Earthbound, be warned. Jeff cannot get a smash on enemies, but he can fix stuff. So he has no critical hits, but he can fix items. <clears throat> Thank you for the tip. Oh, I totally agree this game is great today. I'm having a great time with the game. The writing, the world design, the music. Look at this cool music. Someone's doing jingle bells outside. You hear it? Sleigh bells? Ugh. So the key's bent? What do I do to it then? A key to a regular locker. But it's bent. How do I fix it? <coughs> How do I fix the key? Go back upstairs to my tools in my, my room, maybe? I don't know. What do I do with this broken key? by going over the gate, but you need to get some stuff to take with you. Yeah, how do I do it? If the key is bent, how do I fix the key? <clears throat> I don't know. stuff. <clears throat> ah. Rugal says, Jeff doesn't do critical hits, but he has 100% accuracy. He'll only miss if this, the, the enemy has a high speed stat. I'm not sure what to do. Hmm. That's all the same dialogue. Yeah, it's all the same. I don't know. Talk to this guy again? The key didn't work. I thought it might be the case, so I just invented this. A machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. Sorry for the inconvenience. What? 
you are a doctor and donut son, you should be able to repair small tools and make them useful. Try to keep a positive attitude. <clears throat> okay. The music is bumping. I know the music is nice and relaxing and fun. I like it. Here we go. There's nothing in the inside. Nothing. Nothing. Come on. A Holmes hat. All right, defense goes up by 10 with the Holmes hat. Shout out to Yoshino Lover, who has re-upped his membership for 17 months. He says, hey, 13 awesome months living the content. Actually, Yoshino, it's 17. It's cumulative. So even though it might not have been 17, you know, back to back to back, it still counts here on YouTube. <clears throat> Thank you for the re-upping of the membership and the ongoing support. A pop gun. Broken air gun. I'm sure he'll fix that later, right? He fixes things in his sleep. Nothing. All right, so we got a gun and we got some armor. Cool. The Sherlock Holmes hat. Ha! Huh. Okay, now use me as a step and climb over the gate. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. I don't know... We are going or why, but remember, we're best friends forever. All right. Great music, but I didn't save. This sucks. I also don't have any healing items. Oops. I love this music. A shot. Okay. I have two dollars. Kiki, yeah. Hello, hello, Maxwell Labs. Oh, hello, Jeff. Yes, please save. Cool. Now, wait a minute. Can I take money out of the ATM? There's a monkey at the entrance. Take the monkey. He's really noisy. If you buy back a bubble gum, you can have the monkey for free. Otherwise, it'll cost you a buck. I don't want him. You absolutely positively should buy him. The bubble gum here is incredible. You should see the size of the bubbles I can blow. Oh, I don't have an ATM card. So, I don't have any gum. These are insane. T-Rex bat, non-stick frying pan, coin of silence, a picnic lunch, a skip sandwich DX, a lucky sandwich. I can't afford anything. I guess I gotta buy the monkey, huh? Because I don't have any gum. Yeah, I don't have any gum to give him. I guess I have to... I have to buy him for a dollar. Oh, I got the back of bubble gum. Give me some gum. All right, here we go. The bubble monkey has joined. There you go. Bubble Monkey. So Rugal says basically every time that Jeff goes to sleep anywhere in the game, he fix fixes. Oh, 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 what a stretch. Wow. Ugh. Holy shit. That was a good stretch. So he says basically when, when Jeff goes to sleep, if there's broken items in the inventory, he fixes them when you're asleep, depending on IQ. The higher his IQ goes, the more he can repair. See? And certain items have IQ requirements to repair. I see. <clears throat> Lucas Roberts says, When does hardcore gaming season begin? I'd say probably next month, even though some new releases are starting to come out. There's demos and things right now. Probably next month is really when it hits. You know, the Overwatch 2 is starting that second week of October. There's like non-stop new releases through October, November, and December. So probably mid-October is really where it hits its stride. A Crispy TV says, I'm counting your stream at the end of my shift at work. and making it go faster. Have a great rest of the stream. Thank you, Crispy TV. Appreciate that. 
Uh-oh. Whoa! He was following me. He stopped following me. I started following me. Yeah, look! He gets distracted. Do 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 no, I didn't sell the ruler and protector. I forgot. I don't know you're supposed to do that. Oh. The tame animals have become wild. Something evil's going on. Why don't you rest here for a short while, have something to drink, perhaps some tea? Ah. Feeling better now? Good luck. Okay, so you can restore for free here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Ah, oh, dead end. Evil doggy. An evil doggy. How dare you bite me? All right. Yeah, Rugal says that those uh, are basically worthless inventory space. You should sell them when you can. All right, level up. Here we go. HP up by two. Woohoo. Did the bubble monkey do anything? I think he hit the dog, right? Unexpectedly be living in the woods. I personally think so. I heard the wind is always blowing when Tessie appears. Ah, chew. I feel like I'm catching a cold. If I find Tessie, you think I'll get in the newspaper? I'm looking for my 50 minutes of fame. I'll just save again quickly. Okay. Christmas story. What a cute little monkey. Would you like a piece of gum? Maybe monkeys don't like gum. It's Ralphie. You're Ralphie from a Christmas story. See? You got the glasses on. You're right. We're here at Lake Tess. We didn't see Tessie. We're known as the Tessie Watching Club. Okay. You've been bitten by Tessie Mania. You're in good luck. You'll be able to see Tessie tomorrow. I can't wait. I'm the cook for the Tessie Watching Club. I bought some stew. No, no, there's no need to pay me. Some free stew. Vince tipped me a dollar fifty. Says, what do you think of the incident between CM Punk and the Elite? You think the Elite might jump ship to WWE? The Elite contracts end in January. I have no idea. I don't really care. I don't follow the nonsense going on in wrestling. I know that there was some kind of an altercation. And they beat the crap out of each other or something. I don't know. I haven't really followed the ins and outs of it. There's so much drama on the internet about it. And everyone's talking about it. I'm like, I don't really care. I don't watch AEW. You know, it's nonsense. It's a bunch of people acting like children. So, thank you, Vince, for the tip. I know he does look like Ralphie from the Christmas story. Mr. Telephone said, did you ever play Lisa the Painful? I never played it, no. You're a friend who I never met before, Jeff. Head south, I am Paula. If you hear the message, go south. We're going to do the night. Jeff fixed the broken spray can, and he made the defense spray. Cool. Increase one of the friend's defense during battle. It's most effective if you use the power multiple times to layer the effect gone after one use. So you would need more than one. Hmm. Oh, look. Oh, cool. The music changed. Well, this is cool. I don't need that butterfly. Look, look! Oh! Look who's coming to say hello to us. Here he comes out of the sky, onto the ground. 
All right, it's our photographer friend. He's here. <clears throat> Project Hail Mary. Uh, I, what I said about Hellsinger was I'd like to see if people like it. It's on Game Pass. There's no rush to play it. So people want to see it, I can play it in the future, but right now I'm kind of booked. <clears throat> okay. Get ready for an instant memory. Here we go. Fuzzy Pickles. Peace out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ty. Wow, what a great photograph. will always bring back the fondest of memories. Yeah, Ty. Here we go. Kya ki kya kyu. Give me some gum now. Kaki cookie ko. I'll take care of everything. Of course. Could this be Tessie? No, it's not. It's actually not. It's Lapras. This game is actually a Pokemon game. You just don't know it yet. Lucas Roberts thinks I should do a, a YouTube short of me saying Fuzzy Pickles and doing a peace sign during a picture. <laughs> How's this music? It's so good. How could anyone hate on this game? Seriously. Yoshin all over. Glad to have you for retro fun today. Yes, Burnt Zapato. This is the Loch Ness Monster, also known as Tessie, here in Earthbound. It's a friendly dinosaur, and it helps you. Goodbye, Tessie. Thanks for helping us. See you later, Tessie. Stay away from pollution in the water. Humans are disgusting. Thank you. Thank you for everything. <clears throat> Very nice. All right. We're off. Oh, an ordinary goat. Green? Why green? That was weird. I'll take it. Oh, my only does one damage. Oh! I don't really want to waste the bottle rocket, but I might have to use it. Is he going to hit for that much damage? Offense up, IQ up, HP up. Oh, look! Pencil eraser! For some weird reason, a pencil shaped iron statue is blocking the pass, so later on you can come back here with your party and remove the pencil eraser. Look, Rick Road. The dungeon has no entrance fee, come on in. Welcome to my modest dungeon, Brick Road. That mouse. Hello, mousey. For you to fix the broken air gun, you need 12 IQ. On level 11, you'll hit 12 IQ. So we gotta get hit level 11 and keep that item in his inventory. The rowdy mouse! Keep that rowdy mouse! Level up! Offense up, defense up, speed up, guts up, IQ up, luck up, maximum HP up. That all sounds good to me. A bread roll, a delicious bread roll. Dan says you have to go through the Dungeon Master's Cave here, but you can grind Jeff after the cave boys. I don't want to grind Jeff. What would I want to grind him for? It's disgusting. Oh, the pet. It was an enemy. <clears throat> the worthless protoplasm. Call for help. Damn, that's damaging. I guess I'll eat the 
friend will. It felt a little strange. I don't know what feeling strange does in this game. It's a status effect, but I don't know what it does. There we go. Hello, Bob. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Jeff levels up. Level 5 vitality up. IQ up. Maximum HP up. Very good. Let's go back. I want all these items. There's a duck I have to attack. I have to smack a duck around to get this item. Look, a duck. <laughs> Freaking duck. The mad duck. He's very upset. He fell down. The mad duck fell. He disrupted your senses. He says, I can't use Psy. I don't use Psy anyway. Here we go. Easy win. Insecticide spray. Use that against bugs. I love the music. Alright, Jeff. Let's get this item over here. A broken iron. I'm sure he'll repair that later. Feeling strange is confusion. It's what Brain Shock does is what your characters are naturally immune to for now. Okay. Do, 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 do. What does this sign say? Watch for falling materials. Brick road. Ah, another picture. <laughs> Here we go. Falling material. Here we go again. Fuzzy pickles. Here you go. I couldn't do this in nine years ago because I didn't use face cam. I couldn't pose for every photograph. There you go. The mad duck. What is it so mad about? Or does it imply that it's, it's crazy? Crazy duck. Ow, you jerk. Picking at my eyes. Ever seen a duck peck at your eyes? It's not a, a good sight. Level 6. Offense up. Defense up. IQ up. Maximum HP up. 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 Thank you to the anonymous $12 tipper. Thanks to you, we get to see a full, cool dancing animation. And we hit the tier 1 tips goal for the day, which is excellent. It's a good start, right? So thank you for that. It is now Gunner Glass's time. Oops. Five. A gross miscalculation. Yes, we are now at fifty dollars in tips. Thank you for that. Let me get my glasses. I should give him IQ pills. I should if I ever get any. I don't have any right now. But you're right, there are IQ pills you'll find throughout the game. Basically, you find different pills for different stats. So if I find IQ pills, I should give them to Jeff so he can re re repair stuff. You're right. This game looks great on the Switch. I love playing this like this. On a big screen like this. It's cool. All right. Ah. Very nice. Thank you very much for the anonymous tipper. I really appreciate that. What's in this box? What's in the box? A croissant. Ha, ha, ha. La croissant in the box. Oh, no. What's in this box? It's a worthless protoplasm. Ow. Yeah, we're definitely doing more damage. We've already uh, leveled up a bit here. Wow, the the monkey gets a critical hit. At least the bubble monkey scratches his head. Yes. Yo, we should all love her. Says after watching you play it now, Earthbound seems fun. I might try it. It's so good. It's seriously so good. Now, keep in mind, it's cryptic in part, and it is difficult. It is not an easy game, but it is a fun game. It is so well done. Nice, the croissant. Max my HP. La croissant. Hello, Mousy. He's a Mousy. Row the mouse. Fight the row the mouse. <laughs> Take this, row the mouse. Oh no! Critical hit from Rodamas! 
Very good. Let's use this cookie. A stun gun. Oh, yes. An increase of damage. Very good. Do, 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 do. Way to go. Come back again. Brick Road. For those who don't know, Brick Road is the maker of the dungeon. He will be a recurring character in the game. So we thought that was neat that he had his own dungeon he made for us. Stay tuned. All right, let's see. Ooh. Oh, maybe it was too easy. My name is Brick Road, the dungeon developer. I devoted my life to making dungeons. Well, by coming, by combining my skills and Dr. Andonut's intelligence, I can become Dungeon Man. The first combination of human and dungeon in history. Let's meet again once I have become Dungeon Man. Would you like to get a good night's rest? Sure. Why not? Zerodemouse! Take care, come back again. Alright. So look, shortcut. So once we finally come back here, we can have a shortcut. So we're going to be back here at some point. Uh-oh. A deadly cave. Full of echoes and... Zerodemouse! Ha-ha! Hello, I'm Zerodemouse. I come to... Lava your face with that critical hit. Uh, smack you. Damn, he did smack me. Melia says, I'm loving the chill playthrough. I'm glad I'm enjoying the game. I love this game. I'm telling you, I really like this game. It's definitely one of my favorites. If I play this, if I play Chrono Trigger, if I play any of the classic RPGs, I'm, I have a good time, man. I have nothing to heal with. This kind of sucks. I have no HP recovery items. At least I can instantly kill them, but I have to hope that the Rowdy Mouse doesn't have the critical hit, because it has a high critical hit chance. Alright, level 7, offense up, guts up, IQ up, HP up by 3. Chrono Trigger is insanely good, I love that game. I really wish we could do an interactive playthrough of it, but uh, it's not available on any console right now. It sucks. Attack Snug. Hey, you tried to use some nose. Goodbye, attack snug. Attack slug. Humbugger! Good. I have a healing item. Humbugger! Yummy. I only eat hamburgers out of packages that I find in caves. Smash! Take this, Rodham Alsa! Chrono Trigger is on PS4? No, it's not. The villain? No, it is not. I looked into it earlier this year. No, it is. It's only available on Steam. And I can't play on PC. I wish it was on PS4. I would play it. Nick says, thanks for playing Earthbound 2 again. You mean Mother 2 again. Great memories from last time you played it. Really enjoyed the content. I'm glad. I love this. The rules is I didn't play it back then, too. I played it first time like three years ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> Kill that rotten mouse before he has a chance to be routed. There we go. Jeff's probably gonna level up again soon. No, don't do it! Uh, <laughs> critical hit is damn very, very risky. Nice. Jam level up, level eight. Oh baby, offense up by three, defense up by one, speed up by two, vitality one, IQ up, luck up, maximum HP by eleven. That's good. That's very good. Mushrooms. I don't know if I like all these mushrooms. Okay. Oh, it's a living mushroom and a mouse. What do I, I just want to fight one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, well, now I fight nothing. No! Okay. 
Is it illegal to stream an emulator? Um, it's kind of a gray area. What I mean by that is, technically, if you own the game, you're not supposed to get in any trouble. But a lot of companies have big issues with people shredding or streaming emulated versions. Nintendo, a few years ago, went out of their way to go to all the emulation websites and basically take them down and remove all the ROMs. So even if I wanted to emulate Chrono Trigger, I might have a really hard time finding it on the internet because Nintendo systematically shut down all their ROMs on the ROM sites. Yeah. Yours and Oliver says, the Chrono game that is on PS4 isn't Chrono Trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Chrono Cross. It's not Chrono Trigger. The rule says you're almost level 12. Those mushrooms don't use that attack that puts the mushrooms on you. Oh, okay, good. Level 9. IQ up. HP up. Cheap bracelet inside. Defense up. Nice. You can buy PS1 Classic or Chrono Trigger on PS3. Ugh, I don't. I can't play PS3. My PS3 doesn't go online. Remember, it's fucked up. <clears throat> yeah, my PS3 doesn't work. I can't go online with it, so I wouldn't be able to do that. I want to find them one at a time. Ah. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, uh, what do I want to drop? <clears throat> Bottle rocket. What do I do? I can't go up. Uh... Hmm. I don't know what to do. It's a dead end. Right? What do I do? I'm stuck. There's nowhere to go. <clears throat> How do you examine something without opening the menu? Uh, left trigger is the shortcut button on the switch. Left trigger. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. Shit. God damn it. Ass. Come on. Stop giving me the same enemies over and over. I don't want to fight two at once here. Can I? People are saying use the bubble gum. Let's see. Wow. Seriously, this works. How would you have known that? Seriously. How on earth would you have known to do that? You wouldn't have. You would have been stuck. So I don't think we want to fight a boss. Considering I'm by myself with this monkey. It's probably a bad idea. I think you come back here later to fight that boss. Or you're going to get owned, right? <clears throat> Yoshi Oliver says, Does your PS3 read PS2 and PS1 discs? I don't know. I have no idea. God damn it. Shit! You can't fight the boss. You get a different message by examining the boss at Jeff alone. Oh. <clears throat> a cookie.
Dude, I can't like three at once. This is ridiculous. <clears throat> Only Ness can absorb the power of this place. So now we know we'll be back later with a full party and Ness will, this is one of his big boss fights of the game. Ki uki kikui. Now she's my type. I think I'll ask her for a date. Okay, I guess that's the end of Bubble Monkey. <clears throat> Goodbye, Bubble Monkey. Thanks for helping. Okay. All PS3s play PS1 games. Most don't play PS2. I do not have a... Yeah, I do not have the one that plays PS2. What's this? The kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. Those stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You must have seen it on TV or read about it in the tabloids. All right. <clears throat> yes, that's Stonehenge. Vince is me a dollar and he says... Incoming news, NBC wants to merge with Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers might be forced forced to because of all the debt that they're in, over $53 billion in debt. If this happens, AEW and WWE will be under one network. I can see them killing off AEW for WWE. Okay. That's a ginormous what-if that likely will never come to fruition in that way, but we'll see. Thank you for the tip. an enemy? Oh, shit! He is an enemy. Whoa! Look at this! For some reason, something that looks like a very large iron eraser is in the way. So we need to get an eraser eraser and come back to Stonehenge and come down here later on in the game. How cool is that? Need to get an eraser eraser. EVGA is ditching NVIDIA and leaving the graphics card business. Wow, EVGA has been in the graphics card business for a very long time. When I used to buy graphics cards 20 years ago, they were doing them. So, wow, that's pretty nuts. <clears throat> Mr. Brick Road, the dungeon maker referred you, right? Not only that, what? Who? My son? Oh, I, I can't believe it. You're Jeff, my son. It's been maybe 10 years since I last saw you. I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. Those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? I was only offering. I'd also like a donut right about now. Have you already... <laughs> he doesn't have one. Have you already checked out Stonehenge? Yes. At least I asked. Okay. By the way, why are you here? I see. That girl named Paula must have sensed I was here. I'll try to help you out. I'm trying to make a phase distorter that can connect two points in space and time. <clears throat> It's still incomplete. I'll let you use another invention I call the Skyrunner. It's a little bit odd, but I'll certainly help. When you're bored, always listen for the message that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The round machine over there is the Skyrunner. What do you think? Is it a neat? Get in. Let's go together. Let's get together again in 10 years or so. Wow. 10 years or so. E equals MC squared. So this is his other invention. Instant revitalization device. Only a few seconds. This machine fully revitalizes you like a good night's sleep. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> so I got all my stats restored. Oh, he's got a present up here. A broken pipe. Another broken item to fix. Cool. Alright, so if I'm remembering correctly. This is going to get us to our next destination. Alright. So, I think what we'll do, it might be a good idea to take a break here. I've been going on for a little over an hour. Take a break and then come back and do two more hours. Yeah! Earthbound, so good, so much fun, so quirky, so interesting, right? I love this game. All right, excellent.